my name, my name Lil Duke, upcoming artist. You feel me? Finna come up to my nigga Christian right here. Yo. Yeah. Hell yeah, man. Welcome to the interview. Uh, I've I've recorded with you before. That's how we know each other. For sure. Let's get into it, man. We're gonna go into your favorites, and then we'll go into your life, your rap career, and then we'll go into your views. All right, bet. So right off the rip, uh, your favorite cartoon and favorite cartoon character um, of all time. I ain't gonna lie. I used to watch a lot of SpongeBob and, and like like Mickey Mouse and stuff. I don't really watch it no more. I don't really be having the time to watch TV and stuff. But yeah, that's what I used to watch. Who's your favorite character on Spongebob or um, who's it Mickey Mouse? Uh, and Spongebob is Spongebob. Right. And then Mickey Mouse. Uh, it's probably Goofy or Donald Duck. With Mickey Mouse, is it like the old school Mickey Mouse or is it like the newer, mm-hmm. newer age one? I don't know. It's the one like when I was like, when I was like seven, six, seven. I guess that's the old one. Two years ago. No, I'm just nah. <laughs> I'm fucking with you. Fucking with you. Yeah. <laughs> no, but um, like there's so many different uh, Mickey Mouses. I definitely have to mm-hmm. figure that one out. I have to do the math. Um, going from there, um, video games. Ooh, you 2K guy? Mad yeah, guy. I play. I play 2K. But your favorite of all time. My my favorite is 2K, but it's what? it ain't it ain't got boring though. What year? Like the newer one, two K, nah, two K eighteen. That's that was not eighteen. I'm tweaking. Yeah, yeah, it got it's two K eighteen. That was my that was my favorite, my last one that I like. The other ones since they kept going, they was just they was just trash. Two K and two K twenty, two K twenty. Was it like the movement in the game that changed or anything? Yeah, like they 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 added speed boosting. Motherfucking uh, fucking unrealistic shots and all that shit. It was just all trash. But yeah, I don't really play the game no more like that. I play Fortnite time to time, and I play Warzone. I play Fortnite. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I like Fortnite because there's like so much stuff in it. Like yeah. anime. I'm an anime freak. Dude. <laughs> I all see the anime it. skins got it. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Going to the next one. Um, it's a little towards the. Rap, but um, what's your favorite song by yourself? Um, I say, shit, it's a lot of. Them. Think about it. You take the time. Take the time. This is this is one one of them. Walk down, and then. Is that a new song? Yeah, song? that was the one from the EP, and then. The other one probably be my first song I ever posted is One and Man on all platforms. Yeah. So if you had to pick one to show, to listen to the last time, the only time you could ever listen to a song ever again. I'll pick One and Man. One and Man. Yeah. Check it out on all platforms. You For sure. <laughs> For sure. Um, next, um, uh, a favorite song by a friend. Mm. Somebody personally, you know. Um, I'm gonna say, uh, uh, it's a song that, uh, Wood, uh, Wood and Mook made. I forgot what it's called. It's their most recent song that they posted. You're talking about Bora Bora, yeah, that one, yeah, the one, yeah, they did Bora Bora. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Oh, it's hard. Good song. I like that song. <laughs> For sure. Nice. Um, next, uh, favorite song by a mainstream artist. Um, probably. It's a song by MG Sleepy. Probably. Um. Yeah, let me see. Hold on. 
Yeah, some of them will be hard. Like, there's a question later on that stumps everybody, and it's their, their hardest bar. So that makes them think for a while. <laughs> but we got the t- all the time in the world. That's why this interview's here. So people get to know you and actually know what you like. Actually, no, I'm going to change it. It's a song by Vic. It's called No Deal. That one hard. Yeah. yeah. Bumping it every day? Nah. I just, that when I do bump music, that's what I, that'd be on my playlist. I play that song first. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, next song, uh, next question, uh, favorite food? Can't go, can't go your whole life. I ain't gonna lie. I know other people gonna pick, like, record and cheese and, and all that stuff, but I'm picking cereal. Like, I can eat cereal all day, every day, any second. What kind of cereal? Lucky Charms. That's your number Lucky, one? Yeah, Lucky Charms my number one. So Lucky Charms is kind of my favorite, but I like the ones when they made the Frosted Flakes Lucky Charms. Oh, I know, I ain't never heard about. I ain't never heard about those. You can't go wrong with that. Yeah. <laughs> so much sugar though, you feel like yeah. you're gonna die. Uh, all right. Um, next one is a favorite rapper or rappers. If you don't have a favorite rapper, do you have a number one favorite rapper? Top three. <laughs> SK Blink, uh, MG Sleepy, and Lil Duke. Hey. Yeah. First person to put himself up there. Yeah, for sure. Hell yeah, that's real. Um, next question is like a newer question I've been asking. Um, mm-hmm. Favorite place to be? If you could be there all the time, anytime, whatever you could do, uh, like at home, in the yeah. kitchen while your mom's cooking, or it could be like fucking right in front of video games. Or... I don't really, I don't really do nothing. I, be I go to I go to school or make music. Like like my favorite place to be like, it's at home because I make music all the time at home. So. It'll be at home. Yeah. It's a place where you're making music. Mm Mm-hmm. Sick. Um, Next, um, what's your uh, favorite vacation spot you've ever been? I ain't really been, like, out nowhere. Like, I only went to... I'm from Chicago, so I only been to Chicago. And then we moved to... Yeah, it'd be Atlanta. Atlanta. Yeah. yeah. Um, if you could ever go anywhere in the world, what is your dream vacation area? Um, dream vacation spot. Florida. Florida. Yeah. Specific spot in Florida: Miami, Keys, Jacksonville. Yeah, probably, be, probably be Miami or Jacksonville. I want to be like, I want to be like on the back, balcony, like where they see the the beach and all that. The old beaches. Yeah. 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 Yep. That's your heart. Miami and Jacksonville, right on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right on the edge there. Um. Going to the next question, um, we're gonna start going into um, your life a little bit, so and your rap career. Um, All right. Where are you from, man? Where's your family from? Right. I'm from Chicago. My whole family from Chicago. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what's the lifestyle like there? It's a lot going on down there, like. A lot of my family that passed away, it all happened down there, and. Yeah. Like, my mom, we moved, we moved to Georgia for like a couple months, and then we moved to, uh, we, yeah, we moved to Georgia for a couple months, and then we had moved down here, because she didn't want us in Chicago, because you know if you're in Chicago, like, you're going to have to, like, start, like, you ain't got to go in the streets and all that, but you got to find a way to protect yourself. And she didn't want us to die at an early age, so she moved us out of there. Very dangerous spot. Yeah. Chirac. Yeah. <laughs> that's crazy. And I didn't know that about you, so that's very interesting, yeah. knowing you're from Chicago. That's definitely, everything I everything you just said is exactly what I've heard about. <laughs> <laughs> um, but going from there, um, how long have you been rapping for? I've been rapping since the ninth grade but I st- I made one song in the ninth grade and stopped cause like I just did it for fun then I just what, I just what grade are you now saying I'm a junior grade? uh so 11th grade yeah so you about two mm-hmm. two three years yeah I'll be I'll be out in the year I ain't planning on going to college for real for real cause if I do go to college it's gonna be it's, it's gonna have something to do with music cause I'm just after college I'm just trying to do music get bread in Go crazy by myself. I'm just, yeah. Oh yeah. Um, 
going into the next question, it's one of the recommended questions you had for me. Is um, uh, what what made you start rapping? All right, so my dad and my mom, when they was young, they was rapping too, and my mom showed me her song. I was like, that's hard, and then I just that's that's why I made that one song in ninth grade, cause I after she told me that the next week I started trying to like try to rap and all of that. It ain't go as well, but I kept working and all that, and niggas see how I am now, and I'm, I'm good. Yeah. yeah. Let's see. Um, give me one second. Uh, um. Um. Uh. This is also another recommended question. Um. Uh, if you were to get bigger, or when you actually get bigger, um, who would you want to keep around? Um, I only got a select few. My nigga Christian, Angelo, Javion, uh, Fredo, my girlfriend. She supported me a lot through all of this. Uh, and yeah. Oh, not me, not me. Oh yeah, space, no, no, space. No, 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 my fault, no, my fault, no, my fault. No, space for no. sure. Who, who I'm else? Just joking, I'm joking. Who would you make songs with? Who would you make songs with? Tyrant? Yeah. Tyrant. People who you uh, collab collaborate with. Yeah. Like my close friends type shit. I ain't really. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, now going a little bit deeper into your, like, music. Um, what's your name about? Um, what does your music stand for? Um, my, my name? It was the, uh. When I first posted my song, I did not know like like what to do. I'm thinking I just gotta post my song and it's gonna be out there. I had to put the name of the song, post my song, edit the song, do all of that. Yeah. So I had to hurry up because I was just trying to like hurry up and post it. I was rushing, and then I was like, I went to my mom. I was like, what what should I make my name? And then she was like, she was like, I don't know. So I just went in my room, typed in the name, put Lil Duke, and that's what it's been ever since. That's real. Yeah. It's pretty sporadic. <laughs> it's not like a video game uh, handle or something like yeah. that. But um, that's cool. That's cool. And then, um, yeah, what's your music stand for with that? My music, like, I talk about it. I talk about a lot of stuff that happens in my life. People don't really see it in there. But if you really listen, like, that's really stuff that you see in my life. And you understand it more. Some stuff, I just be talking. But it's... It, it, you feel me? It's gonna, it's gonna come to the, come to the, come to the light type shit. People will realize. Yeah. Damn. It's really about that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's cool. Um, still staying on your life. Um, back in the day when you first got your first ever job, unless you don't have a job, um, do you, do you have a job? Nah. No. Not right now. You're just in school. Yeah. In school full time. Um, do you have a dream job? Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I just want to. Yeah, I just want to be an artist for real. For I ain't really. I don't really want to like work nowhere. I just. I start a business, and be a rapper. Like that's all I really want to do. That's why I put my heart to. Like that's why I do this rap shit so heavy. Cause like, I really want to make it with this. Like my mom. When I showed her my music, I was scared. Cause like she a Christian, you know, she listen to gospel music. She don't really listen to that music, but. Cause she had changed after she moved and all of that, so I talked. I sat down. I talked to her, and she understood that I really want to do this, and I like stopped playing football and all of that for it. So she let me, and ever since I've been going hard and doing what I gotta do to, you feel me, keep elevating. Hell yeah. Um, uh, I actually have an extra question for you. Um, okay. I I know you I know a little bit of your background story. Um, you play any sports in high school? Uh, this this year in ninth grade, tenth grade, and this this year, I played football and track. But I've been thinking if I want to play football this year, cause like I know if I play football, it's not I'm not gonna be putting my all into it. I'm still gonna be loving rap and doing what I want to do in rap. And I ain't trying to do that because it's just wasting my time. 
So I'm just, I probably just do full time rapping and get a job, and make my cheese, and do all that. Oh yeah. Uh, so are you still playing sports or? Nah, I was, I was doing track, but I wasn't really feeling it, so I just stopped running. Cause I, I like to, as soon as I get off out of school, I like to do my work, and then start rapping. And just write lyrics and all that, cause I love to have songs ready. Like, like if I wanna, if I wanna do a feature, I gotta have I gotta have stuff ready. Mm-hmm. Like, they I I text them, I gotta have a song for them to hop on automatically. I can't be like, oh yeah, y'all gotta wait. I gotta write my lyrics and shit first. I won't have to do that, cause I already got it ready. Okay. Um. And. That was interesting because when I went met you, I was like, "Do you still play football?" Because I know Baby Joe plays football yeah. and all that, and uh, that's one way I met you is through him. Uh, and you were like, "Yeah, I just don't play football anymore. I like to rap. I yeah. don't really run a lot." <laughs> rap. Yeah. Um, going into that though, this is gonna be the tough one. Mm-hmm. What's your hardest bar you got? Oh, oh, you hold on. Think about it. <laughs> Shit, I, I don't know. Let the comments answer that shit. I don't know. That's a hard question. You heard him I'll comment. Be, I be spending a lot of hard shit. I don't even know. What you you, have a, you, you got a favorite bar by him? Oh, it's that one boy you said about your name. He's like, it's a real nigga name. Oh, yeah. D-U-K-E, a real nigga name. Yeah. <laughs> That's hard. That's real. Yeah. That's my, that's my favorite. Oh yeah, next question. Um, old music. Any um first music you want to talk about? That's that I made. Or, yeah. Um, like like my first song type shit. Yeah, anything that's released that like, people can go actually look. Oh, oh yeah, like I just, I, my last thing I dropped was an EP. All my shit hard on there. Go check it out. Uh, I'm dropping a song this week. Me and T Dog called uh, motherfucking uh, damn. Hold on. Uh, real, real belt ass boys. We finna drop that bitch in this week. Stay tuned. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um. <coughs> besides that, is there any other uh new music or new projects you're working on? Um. Actually, yeah, I got a lot of songs I'm working on. Like, it's this one song I switched the flow. I I finished that song, but I ain't gonna drop it till. After I drop this song that I'm about to drop this week. And then I got another song I'm working on. I'm trying to get uh, Tay 2 on, on there. So I can get like, I'm trying to get out there for real, for real. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pay that feature, get him on there. And then I'm trying I'm work my way up, promote that as much as I can. Yeah. Nice, nice. Um, when you are releasing your music, are you dropping on all major platforms or yeah you... it's on it's on all platforms it's, it's on music apple music soundcloud uh spotify instagram P- pandora if that, isn't that what it's called pandora yeah. yeah pandora yeah all that it's on everything all platforms hell yeah that's good to know and that's how you make your money for sure um with staying on your music and um rap career what what type of music uh inspires you um, when I first started, I was really listening to like MG Sleepy and Vic and all them. I started, I just looked up their type beats and I started rapping on them, and that's what really inspired me. And I just kept going. People really liked it, so I just kept doing it. But at some point, I knew I had to switch it up, so I just started switching it up, doing different beats, and they saw that I was versatile with my songs and all that, so. They really started fucking with me. That's how it went. Oh yeah. Um, what does the rap culture mean to you? It means a lot. Like when I'm mad, when my mom make me mad, when my sisters, my brothers, anybody make me mad, I'm having a bad day. I go to rapping. Like I get to writing lyrics about what happened. I go in my cl- I go I go I go in my closet, cause that's why I make that's why my music sound good as hell. But I, I really be in my closet. Like I sit on my toe. I rap. 
and I just say I just say anything. Sometimes I'll be freestyling, my shit be hard. And then most of the time I just write my music and that's that's what I do now. Yeah, rap culture it really mean a lot to me. Like without it, I probably still be playing football, but football don't really like it's not really fun to me, bro. But like rap, I'm happy I found it because I know that this really what I want to do. Oh yeah, that's deep. <laughs> yeah. Um, do you have any side passions you do or want to do eventually? Uh. That are YouTube friendly. Not really. I ain't gonna lie. I want to try to. I want to try to get into making beats so I can try to make beats on my own and like making covers like my cover art and all that because are you just making them for yourself or yeah you sell i i can do it for myself I'm, I'm trying to do it for myself for other people all that and then for i'm trying to get my own my own studio set for christmas too i'm gonna have my own set so i ain't gotta like i ain't gotta do it on my phone no more and yeah I'm like, yeah next step yeah for sure. i remember the first day i got all my stuff dude yeah because i just wanted to make beats i didn't have nothing to record people but then all the rappers are like these beats are sick yeah Can you record me i was like nah. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, well, i'll go get a mic <laughs> yeah this shit's real hell yeah dude next step here he comes you're gonna get some crazy music from him soon. for sure um uh next we're gonna go into your views um getting off the topic of uh just your life and rap career, which is awesome. It was great, okay. great insight. Um, what's your views on the music culture in Columbus? Um, I'm gonna start from my first song. My first song. I don't even remember like what I. I think I, I'm finna check. I think I. It's on SoundCloud. I don't even got SoundCloud no more. But it's. I ain't get that many views because it was trash. I ain't gonna lie to you. But as I kept going, like my my views, I ain't post all. I posted all my sound, songs on SoundCloud till this year, and back my my shit used to hit like three hundred and four hundred views type shit like that. Not the, that not that the views, not not your views on your well, songs. Like, what, what, what do you think, think about what think? what's your views on the music views culture in Columbus? What do you think about it? Oh shit! Damn. It's okay, you're good. You're good. You're good. Like like on on the. On Col- like being like in Columbus, MG Sleepy, Doobie, oh, like the artists in Columbus, your friends, yourself, your oh, well, like what I think about them. Yeah, what do you think about the culture? Uh, you like it? I, I lucrative. People like each other. What, what, what do you? Your personal experience? From I like culture? it, but I think I like it, but I think like they. I don't really know how to explain it. Like I like the I like the culture. Like. That's what got me into it and that inspired me. But I don't really I don't really know how to explain what I'm trying to say. Like probably gonna have to come back to this question. Yeah. No yeah. worries, no worries. Um next moving on to the next one. Um a lot of people I ask them and some rappers do really do like wholeheartedly believe this in their souls. Um, do you believe the world's flat? And if you don't, um what do you think about other people believing the world is flat? What you mean by that? Um, do you believe the world is not round? Like you know, mm-hmm. and oh, you, like the, the the flat world. Thing. Um, I don't be, I don't believe it is. Like, you think it's round? Cause like you walk around and you just see, like everything different shapes. Everything I don't know. Maybe it just is a big ass globe and everything inside of it. But like I don't know. I don't so really believe flat in that or shit. Not. Nah, it's, yeah, flat. You think I don't, it's flat? Yeah, I don't think it's a that. Nah, I don't. I don't think it's an actual circle. I think that shit flat. Um, just with that. Um, that's your only views on it. Is you just the there's so many shapes around. Because no, I don't, I, I don't, I'm just trying to get think? more detailed into you, your explanation you because there's oh, certain oh, people that have like bro. theories of like the Bibles into it. Bro, um, bro, there's bro. aliens. Huh? It's round. Like I know it's wrong, but if you think uh, about it, like to you, but <laughs> but if if you think about like all this shit in the world, bro, like what do you mean? What are you talking about? It's all in the. Some people like there's pictures of it being round. 
there's people in space that see that it's round all the time. But, but then there's other people. Oh yeah, you right. But, but, no, but I'm no, just saying like. But I'm just saying from example, their views. From their views. For example, there's there's videos of astronauts on the moon, right? Oh yeah, you right. The moon is not flat. Obviously, like. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. You right. You right. I'm just. I don't know. But I just thought it. I just saw it as a different way. There's certain people that just believe it's flat and you can't tell them otherwise. There's other people that have like, there's ice wall theories now, and all them, that. They're probably people that, that just research and study all this. They, they do, too. trust me. There's some interviews, if you go back and watch them, man, they're like, what the but, yeah, hell? It yeah, makes you think about it. Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm going to take that shit back. Don't even... Mm-hmm. The, 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 it's, it's round We just watched For A sure. flat world conversion Yeah mm-hmm. <laughs> Live on interview Hell yeah That's crazy um, That's why I ask it It's just an interesting question Just like the next one um, What's your thoughts On psychedelics? On what? Psychedelics Like mushrooms And acid um, Prefer them Don't prefer them No I don't my mushrooms I Like psychedelics like mushrooms, where you get magic you, mushrooms. Where you, you get hallucinate. Yeah, magic. Yeah. I mean, psychedelics. That's yeah. I don't. Yeah. Like, like, do I like it? No, I don't. Do you prefer them? Nah. Do you ever think you'll experiment with them if you have or have not? Or? Nah, I don't think I ever do that. Oh, yeah. Are you just strictly just like a um, don't like crazy drugs or? Well. Uh, Don't just, incriminate yourself, by the way. I can tell you that right now. Are you talking about shrooms? Like, yeah, yeah, shrooms. Oh, I'm thinking you're talking about fucking. No, no, because no. Magic TikTok, mushrooms. Oh, shrooms. No, because on TikTok, there's dudes that say he ate mushrooms and he seen he went to a different realm or something. He's talking about some crazy shit. Oh, yeah. Um, but, I mean, shrooms, I never did. Those are, that's DMT. That's DMT. Uh, yeah, I never did. I never there's did. so many different psychedelics, but sh- like. Mostly, a lot of people know what shrooms are yeah, and yeah, have yeah, done them and, or, or like felt the experience on them. And they're just like, Yeah, I like it. If you're out in nature, I prefer it to people. Yeah, I don't, yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't do none of that. I don't All do right. none of that. Okay, yeah. definitely don't try to incriminate yourself if you don't want to. But uh, you, you're not incriminating yourself if you don't, if you say, like, I, I prefer people go out and try anything they want to do, but like certain people like that and some people mm-hmm. are like. Don't do it. Don't do it, kids. Yeah. <laughs> Stay away from drugs. <laughs> um, but next one, um, a little bit into music views. Um, views on music labels. On like somebody coming in saying, Lil Duke, I'd love to sign you for four years. I'd give you two million dollars for those four years. Um but all your music's mine for those four years. All the merchandise, all I'm your not, performance money. I'm not I'm not doing you it. Get two million I'm not I don't care, I'm not doing it like I want to elevate myself. Like I'm not gonna do all this for somebody else. I'm doing this for me. I don't care about no two mil. I do that myself. But what if the like, supporters? Huh? What if the supporters say, like Jay Z walks up to you and he's like, "You're spitting real shit, kid. I, I want to oh, throw you two mil for four years. Just come work with us at Rock Nation." Nah, yeah, I'm not. Like I take the support, but like I'm not. Like one day I'm going. Yo, Drake walks up you gotta, says. You gotta think after that two years, you, you, they got control of all your music. Exactly, yeah, like I just could, those songs for those years. Exactly. But after that, once you're out of the you deal, you own everything afterwards, and all your mastering to the songs now, to where you you use them to make yourself a bigger artist. So there's pro, there's a lot of pros and cons of being with it, and you have to be very. Some people like go to record labels and talk to them, and say "fuck you," I don't ever want to fucking. You're a piece of shit. I don't, what do you think you want to take? Own me? And then guess what? They never get to work with any of those artists that are under the label, like Atlantic. You never See, want to say that. It, to. You never want to like be, have bad blood with labels, but at the same time, you want to also think about how big they're going to make you. They're going to put you <laughs> next week. They're going to put you in a fucking studio with Cardi B. And the week after that, you're going to be on billboards and... New York and shit. Yeah, like, right, right. Yeah, right. I like with you a right. half a million dollar advance in your pocket. Yeah, you right. It's like, <laughs> like, you know, these rappers be getting like, under behind, behind closed doors. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. But I'm, also, they're gonna make a hundred million off your first album. So like you're that. out ninety eight million dollars on your first million I on your like first album, I and like you got to keep making the music for the next four years, and that's just the first project. I want to keep my manhood in. 
It's tough. <laughs> it's tough. How about Mom May has you? That's money? that's what they're trapping people with. That's that's the two deals I just described to you for NBA Young Boy and Lil Uzi Vert. Yeah, they're these. out of the deals now, and they have better deals. Yeah. But they went through so much. Yeah, like because you got when it gets you that big amount, you don't care about nothing else. Yep, it's the most money you've probably ever seen in your life. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, you right. It's right there, just with the signature. Mm-hmm. You get to walk out with a half a mil with of it. Yeah, you probably yeah. read it, read the contract, and you just sign. And then guess what? Exactly, it's a three sixteen. You got to resign after that four years. Yeah. Yeah. You didn't have a lawyer walking with you. And yeah. they probably got, they probably got videos saying if you do this, you say this, I'm gonna release this. Yep, and and you don't know half of that contract is in non disclosure agreement NDA. Yeah. That's, can't talk about it. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. Like most shit that be on there, like you got to. Some gotta of them read, are scary. Yeah, you got you got to read that shit. Pros like, and cons. <laughs> muff, motherfuckers will look at the price and say, "Yeah, like no, nigga, you got to read." Yeah, you got to read everything. But on when there. they hold you back too, when you want to drop something, you're like, "No, nah, we're putting this artist out, this artist out, this artist. We're gonna wait for you. We're yeah, but, put your music out." A year into a year deal. Yeah, I'm, but but for real, for real, I ain't gonna take that shit. Cause I, at one point, I can, I could just do that shit by myself. I ain't. The only big pro of it is you have a, like billions of yeah. billions of dollar company backing you. Yeah, that's but it. if you, yeah, that's but then after that, I make all them hits. Motherfuckers fucking with my music. After that, then it stay music. Then it, where the fuck your music go? In it, YouTube alone. No, no, they still would keep your music out and everything. They would just make the royalties for it. They would have that money. Yeah, you'd that, have to drop stuff afterwards for you. I to can't make do that. Your profits and residual income and all that. To where uh-uh. that's yeah, it's well, it's tough. But you get famous overnight. YouTube alone, that's money, off just that. Yeah. One thing, YouTube. That's what I'm. Do- that's, <laughs> that's why I'm doing this right now. We're on YouTube. YouTube that's bread. <laughs> YouTube pay a lot. Yeah, that's why I'm I'm trying to get interviews done. I'm trying to do open mics, all that, just for, for sure. I'm building my own culture. I don't want somebody else to think they can do. Yeah, we can. We got this. <laughs> and that's respectable with your answer. <laughs> for sure. Stay steadfast with that because they will try to bully you. Bully I got you. you. It's a it's a grown man world out there where it's fucking millions of dollars for on sure. the table. <laughs> but then you know what you're worth. Yeah. But they know. A lot more. Here yeah, because mm-hmm. two million dollars sounds good for four years, but then when they make a hundred million off of that first tape, it's you're throwing up. Mm-hmm. That hoodie looks sick, but I will see a dime. <laughs> 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 Fuck. <laughs> All right, next. Going on to the next one. Um, switching out of music a little bit. We're gonna get back into the weird and bizarre. Um, uh, do you believe in aliens? No. What do you think about that? I don't. I don't. With I don't. Them, with the government releasing what they did recently. What they know, do? They released that aliens are real. Bro, aliens are not real. Like, like niggas. This I forgot who you said think, it. You think it's a hoax? Just a big old. Yeah, like like this one dude in class. He I forgot who it was. He told me he was like he was like bro. I woke up and I saw a spaceship in the sky. I was like bro, like you really think aliens are real? Like Thank I don't. You. Might be, they might not be. Cause I mean, there's places, there's places that we haven't discovered though. With with this question too, because I just don't want to go. Just, just, do you believe in aliens? Do you believe there's other life in space? Space. Do you Actually, believe there's something else out there that besides us. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, I not that I believe in, but like I don't think aliens are you, real. Like, you don't think they're here? Nah, like I don't like if no. I don't. Do you? I mean, not 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 like on. Like where we at, but like you gotta think. I don't know if aliens can be in the, be in the water, but in the ocean, we ain't we ain't we ain't discovered. But 10% yeah, of it. cause it it do it do be hella scary scary shit in the we ocean. Like we, we haven't discovered a majority of space. We can't yeah, get down cause you, to how deep it is. So it's like it's like a really like a fifty fifty. You don't know. Yeah, it, it might be. It might. It might. Yeah, cause you see, them, you see, you know, you know the videos they be showing all that scary shit in the ocean. Let's well, say he yeah. went ocean. His ass think Godzilla down there. Like, <laughs> I'm mermaid. down for that idea. Like, 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 they talking about mermaids and stuff. Like, yeah, uh, you don't know what down there. Yeah, you know, that one video where that motherfucking thing was flying in the sky. I don't know what it was. That shit yeah. was big as fuck. Yeah. Dude, there's tons of videos and stuff that got released. There's people that are in the military that are doing testimonies at Congress saying that. 
we saw something that day and we shot at it because we didn't know what it was and it just vanished. It was going faster than we could even fucking fathom. <laughs> like, yeah. Trying to catch up with it, but we don't have the planes fucking fast enough and shit. But that was recent and everything. Um, look that up. Um, maybe it'll sway you a little bit more. But mm-hmm. yeah, not everybody believes in everything. Like the next one is, um, do you believe in meditation and like um, it helping people? Yeah, I do. That's. Do you, do you practice meditation yourself? No, nah, I don't. But I believe in it. Like I know that it it calms a lot of people down. It helps a pe a lot of people like. Like what's going on with they self and like it's it's a it's a part of a lot of people's routines. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh next one's really deep. <laughs> really, really deep question. Um uh do you have a meaning of life or just um your meaning of life and mm-hmm. what you I wanna I wanna I'm trying I like I'm trying to succeed in life. I'm trying to get rich, I'm trying to do what I want to do and get what I want to get, like, my mom, I want to get her everything she ever wanted. I want to put myself in the place where I want to be. And, yeah, I just want to make something out of myself. I don't want to be here for no reason. That's sick. That's real. Um, Now, this one's going to be go as long as you want, talk about a couple, three or four of them crazy stories and since you have a friend here he maybe have a crazy story himself about you <laughs> <laughs> that yeah. are YouTube friendly you already know don't be incriminating yourself head. or anything or anybody if you want to just you can say some crazy shit and just take their names out but it's like my one homie you want to explain it it's running around naked you <laughs> mm-hmm. No, nah, I don't know. Uh, crazy story. All right, yeah, I'm gonna just say that one. Like most recent story that happened, man. It was before we came to the studio. Yeah, it was the day. It was the day we came to the studio. Oh yeah. yeah, I remember. I remember you guys were talking about this. Yeah, like we. We, uh, you guys are just so nonchalant about it. It's yeah. like our first time I met you. <laughs> yeah, but like we, uh, like some weed. yeah, before before we went to the studio and my niggas, was, they was trying to get some weed and all that. And then he was like, he was like, he don't got a he don't got a concealed weapon and tight shit like that. And we trusted in him. We went there. Yeah, so it was like one yeah, one explain friend, that shit. One of our friends sent us to do something. And we try, we try to smoke. What you smoke? You smoke here. And we thought the dude didn't have a, a gun, and we gave him dude fake money. Uh, and, and then that, that was a light, that was a, that was a lesson learned. So, but like fake money had fake money. So like the money had it said copy on it. Oh, copy or like uh, Hollywood or some shit yeah, like Hollywood money. Yeah, so we gave money. it to him. Oh, we gave it to him. We got, we got the weed. We got like we got like I would say. Mm, like 30, 30, 40 steps apart. He was like, he, he down there. We, we, we down here, like this, this far. And he, he looked back, and he looked back. He like Christian. He looked down. I was like, all right, just keep walking. And then, he, then he looked back again. The dude turned around, and start running. He's gone. He, my mind, he's skinnier than me. I'm fat. <laughs> he, so he, he plays track. So he he's gone. a. Hey, he I made I made sure track. he was cool though. I made sure he was cool. Though. He was he, out he, ski though. He gone. And then I'm running, and he starts shooting. Yeah. Yeah. So I um. Yeah. You know, as soon as I heard that shit, I beat feet. I was just, already in the just, neighborhood. Just, just, just teen, doing teenage. teenage mm-hmm. Learn lesson though. I ain't doing that shit again. Lesson. Learned. I don't even know why I did it. Yeah. <laughs> I've I've been in situations just like that when I was younger, and luckily I had my car the whole time, so <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I could just be like here, and then mm-hmm. <laughs> a lot a lot quicker than yeah. fifty feet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but that's that's a crazy story. Um, any more? Like you can elaborate. I, mean, I got stories with my own. I mean, I only got stories with me and him. You can explain. I mean, I got stories where where we uh where we smoke. 
Go ahead. <laughs> he, he, yeah, he was paranoid. He was paranoid. Um, he, like, I was trying to keep, we was hotboxing, I was trying to keep going. And he was paranoid. He's like, Mom, I gotta go. My mom, she's gonna be my eyes. I was like, bro, don't worry about it. Just stay in the, stay in the box. And then, and then, he, he, he can't complain, so he just left. Yeah. He scared his mom. He was gonna wake up. <laughs> yeah, I ain't. That's when that was my first time doing that. Shit. I ain't waking up, guys. I was, you know, I was scared. Like, like I got in the car, we was smoking and shit, and then I, I'm, I'm just sitting. There, I'm like, y'all yeah, feel like my head in the air, and I'm, and then they was like, bro, that's how you gonna feel, and I was like, nah, like I feel like I'm floating, nigga, and then, <laughs> then that's, then uh, they was like, they was like, that's how you gonna feel. It's the first time, and then I was like turning the beat. And then I just started freestyle. I was going crazy as fuck. Like I was, I was going crazy. I did not stop. I was just talking. And then my throat just started burning. My shoe got dry. <laughs> I was like, I was like, let me out. I can't breathe. He caught then, nothing too. Yeah, I just, yeah, I had to get about that bitch. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Um, uh, with the <laughs> that was awesome. That was, <laughs> yeah, everybody has that. First time, fucking was that your first time? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, that's exactly what yeah. that happened. He said. My heart, my yeah. help me, guys. I'm over I, I fell, I, I fell when I got out the car and everything. Bro. Oh, it was shit. crazy. It was bro. Woozy. Yeah, that, that 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 that'll do it to you the first yeah, time. And it's always sure. the craziest. But um, going. It's funny that I always do this right after yeah. the crazy stories. But this one's a very serious question. Think about it right before you say it. But what is your word to the younger generation or somebody that is younger than you trying to grind out? First, I would say be yourself because trying to be like somebody else, it's not going to turn out the same how they get it. You just being a follower. Second, I would say make some make some out of yourself because God, he brought everybody to this world to do something, not to just sit on y'all ass and just... Not do shit like make something out of yourself. Do some your careers, and then uh, surround yourself around people that's gonna help you elevate. Like like me, that's why I don't I don't go around everybody that's that that fuck with me. Like I know y'all fuck with me. I fuck with y'all, but I'm not gonna be with y'all all the time. Like the niggas I named in the beginning, those are the ones I'm with all the time. Those are the ones that help me elevate. They support me. Those ones that I'm, I'm always had their back. They gonna always have my back. And yeah, yeah. that's yeah. sick. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Um, now for the last little uh, couple segments, I'm gonna have you shout your social medias out in the at the end. But um, shout out um any of your homies that not here in the gang. Yeah, I know you did it earlier. Yeah, but. Those, it's gonna be the same ones. Christian, my my big boy right here. Uh, uh, Angelo. So he was gone. I always got him ready to fight some shit. Then uh, JJ, funny as hell. Uh, my nigga Fredo, a little short nigga. And then um, I'm missing somebody. Yeah, that's. You can name the the artist. Name the artist. And shout them out. Yeah. Oh yeah. I want to shout out like some more upcoming artists. Uh, T Dog, Baby Joe, Leek, Mook, uh, J Dog, all of them. All of them, man. Yeah. We all gonna be be somewhere soon. Our time's coming for sure. Oh, yeah. Shout out um your social medias, man. Uh, my my Instagram Laduk four E's, and then my rap name Laduk with one E. Y'all know that. Mm-hmm. If you don't, there you go. Yeah. Right. Is that the only social medias? Yeah, I don't no TikToks? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. My TikTok. I should I think it's Lil Duke too with I think it's Lil Duke in two E's and three. Hold on, let me see. Is that how you um spell your name too with you Yeah, it's it's L U H D U K E. On all yeah, platforms. My, yeah, on all platforms. My uh TikTok name, Lil Duke with Three E's, yeah. It's so many E's because maybe saying the names took, so I just be added more E's to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. 
trying to get it. Yeah, for sure. All right, brother. Um, that's the end, 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 yeah, end of the interview. Yeah, I uh, think I thank you for having me here. This this was good. I like to express how I feel and share my little bit of my life. Oh yeah, yeah. I appreciate having you here, dude. For sure. It was awesome. Thank you again. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no problem. I'll, anytime. We'll see you next time. For sure. I'll All be right. here. Everybody, peace. Yep. Oh, <laughs>